First, I'm going to show you how to uh, get Panda Home on your uh, Aris correctly. Go to the market and type in Panda Home, and uh, this is the version you need, 1.85. Um, download that, and then it's once you once you download it, um, you know how it like comes up in the top bar here. Just go down and then install it, and then once you click on it. It's going to bring you to another black screen and it's going to it's going to give you like four choices. Pick the one that says uh, download the beta version. <clears throat> it's going to take you to um, the Google site, the Android Google site, and then scroll over to the right and then you'll see the um, APK file for the 1.85 version. Click that and it'll it'll install it. It'll, it'll download it and then it'll ask you to install it. <clears throat> and then uh, it's going to ask, it's going to tell you that you can't uh, download, uh, install things from uh, non-market sources. It's going to bring you to the settings. Just click it, allow non-market sources, and then it'll let you download. It'll let you install it, and then you're done. Once you're in Panda Home, how you get there? You're in HTC Sense. Um, you click Home. This key down here. And then it's going to ask you how you want to open home. Uh, you click your panda. And it's going to take you to a default uh, theme. Click that panda home down there. And then, and then you could download other themes off the market. And you could actually click uh, menu and download uh, right from here. Um, these other ones, like this was from Open Home, which is uh, cost money. The theme was free. It's only supposed to work with Open Home, uh, but it works with Panda, and that's a good thing about Panda is it's free. But it, like a lot of, you know, a lot of these themes work with it, and the icons and also the font packs too. You know, they all work with Panda. So um, this one I got from A Home, which is another home replacement, which costs money. And this GDE, um, that's supposed to be another good one. But um, like the blue of technology is the one I had in my other videos, and then. Um, Say you go to, uh, like, I'll go to uh, Star Tour. Now it's going to bring me to that theme. And this one, I downloaded these um, icons called uh, Glass Orb. And uh, they're, they're for another pay uh, home replacement, but they work with this. So to change the icon, say I wanted to change this, you long hold, press edit, and then you click this, and then it's going to bring you to the folder. There's third-party icons. It's, you know, it automatically finds, finds them for you. And then, uh, you know, it gives you just like hundreds of these things to go through. And you could also change the name of the icon up here to whatever you want it to say. The only difference between this, now I'm running this theme in Panda, uh, between uh, HTC Sense and this is that uh, you don't have that slider thing at the bottom, and you can't uh, you can't run those HTC widgets because it's not running the Sense UI. Um, so you got this thing at the bottom, and then uh, has that icon doc, um, and that's about the only difference. The good thing about it is you could um, go to Task Killer and then um, kill HEC Sense, which will free up a lot of memory and make your phone work faster. Because it does take up a lot. One um, thing Panda lets you do, which is cool, is like totally customize it. So you go to Add, go to Home Assistant, and then like the multi screen. Um, you know, you could have up to 11 screens. And it also, you know, lets you mess with the skin color. What? All right. Okay, so let's change the theme. Go to iPhone. And this was one. This is from Open Home. Uh, no, I got it for free. It works on Panda Home, so whatever. made the mermaid thing for my daughter. Apply.
Okay, so this one was, uh, you know, it's like this bottom thing here. It's going to change into like, all right, watch. See, it brings that icon dock up. And then at the end, I just, man, what the hell is this doing here? And then it has this clock too. This is part of the theme too. Uh, menu, add, uh, widget. No, oh, fuck. Can't do this shit with one hand. Add, widget, analog clock. Then it'll bring up that Apple thing. It's kind of ugly though, I think. Get rid of that. So it lets you customize it and you know, everything's fully functional. Uh, yeah, I just made my own custom icons for this. Sort of iPhone-ish. But it works like a droid, so it's better.